Like I said, every punch has to have a support. So you pivot the front foot. Three. Three. There you go. Like that. Hands up. Well, boxing is, in a sense, it's a science. There's uh, boxing. There's a science to it. And uh, at first, you think it's just punching and beating people up. But when you really get into a, once you get to a certain level, you start realizing and see like you know every punch has to counter punch. There's so many different combinations. It's about rhythm. Once you catch a person's rhythm, then you start, you know, then you just start beating them down. So boxing taught me routine, taught me all those things, taught me all those qualities, discipline, hard work, determination. Because if you don't, if you miss in one of those qualities, you're not gonna succeed. Um, you can't, you don't go to class and teach, you know, hard work and discipline, dedication, you know. Uh, so I'm 27 years old. I was born in LA. A lot of people might kill me for this. <laughs> I've been in San Francisco since 96. And then my mom found an apartment on 3rd Street. And then from 3rd Street, we moved there. So that's where my boxing room started. And so the Nava family moved up the street. And, I, and they come from a, like, they have a history of boxing. So the guys that I grew up with, their name are Jason and Nathan Nava. And they're the ones that introduced me to boxing. Those guys were my best friends growing up. Uh, I actually became a really good fighter. You know, I, I used to uh, I used to spar, you know, like I used to spar everybody, pros, amateurs, it didn't matter. Never had the discipline as a fighter, but you know, I did uh, I did fall in love with it, and um, and that's why I was like, you know, so I kind of still wanted to do something with boxing, and then I was like, that's when I was like, you know what, I'm gonna give it a try. Let, let, let me see if I can become a coach. I want you to try try to get on the inside, move around. You know what you gotta do. 30 seconds, this is it, let's work, let's work. You're such a girl. Go in Jamie, double jab, come on. Bop, bop. There you go, hit his body too, hit his body too. If you get open shot, touch it, touch it. It's all boxing is about is adjusting, capitalizing on mistakes. And you're doing that right now. Three, come here. Here. <laughs> Maria. She's like the uh, ideal fighter. If uh, if I could train, and it's uh, and, and, and like I said, it's things that she already brings to the table that you don't, you can't necessarily teach. Yeah, so she has a uh, she has every quality you could ask for in a fighter. She um she works hard. She doesn't goof around. She doesn't play. She uh, when she comes in here, it's strictly business. You know, we might have a little chat for like a few minutes. And then she starts, once she starts getting warmed up, or once she gets warmed up, that's it. She really, uh, um, so she listens, she's a real good listener, a real good learner. Hard work, I mean, speaks for herself. She's uh, she's in top shape all the time. She's not one of those fighters that, okay, it's time off, I'm gonna slack off. She's working on her time off, you know, when she's supposed to be resting. So let's see, the good parts is people I've been able to meet so far, you know. I have the chance to, you know, Coach Rick is one of them. <laughs> people always like, oh, you love Coach Rick and so Coach Rick is basically um so he made some videos actually breaking down the Mayweather uh, style mitts so boxing could be great for anything like I said it's like either if you want to become a fighter uh, it, it's, it's but it's not just about fighting it, it, it could be like you could use it as an exercise uh boxing damn I can't even find out the negative <laughs> I can't I can't I can't find out the negative to say about boxing um this is knowing when to quit when you're a fighter. I guess that's the only way. I, negative, but besides before that, but that's once you've been a pro for years and you've been fighting, um, pushing it when you're not supposed to be pushing it more. But it's mainly positive. Uh, the ones that want to pursue it, um, you know, just uh, just know that it's not easy. It's something you're gonna have to put good work in, and there's no mid way of doing it. It's either you do it or you don't do it. Five years, I would see myself um, just trade with a lot of fighters so, i mean that's what it comes down to just uh it, i'm just taking it day by day it's just keep on doing what i love to do and do it for the right reasons which is i love boxing and then produce fighters money comes with it i guess afterwards but i'm in it for the for the love i'm in it i love i actually like to teach like i said seeing um seeing people throw their first combination and seeing that smile like oh damn i just did that feels so good that's more rewarding than any money ever will be and I just see myself growing, getting better. I just see myself more knowledgeable in five years. <laughs>